Ladies and gentlemen, the Rivian R1T. All right, preparing for launch sequence. Three, two. Woo Greetings from Brooklyn, New York, where I got invited to check out and drive an actual production R1T at Rivian's brand new service center. If you don't know, Rivian is a relatively new California-based electric vehicle manufacturer that has two models, the R1T, which is the pickup truck you're looking at, and the R1S, an SUV. I had roughly four hours with this Compass Yellow R1T, which, yes, Marquez, it looks like a taxi. And to be specific, this is one of the launch edition models equipped with the Adventure Package. My time with the truck was limited, but between driving it and how many features this thing has, I've got a lot to talk about. We'll first start with the design and exterior of the R1T, and then we'll go into the truck, speak to the interior, and how it drives. Off the bat, I think the R1T is a great looking pickup truck. Sure, this yellow isn't for everyone, but I like the way this thing looks. Let's start in the back with the cargo bed. The lift gate is automatic. There's a button that you push and it lowers. You do have to manually close it, which I thought was an odd design choice because the frunk opens and closes automatically. Anyway, it's got a full size spare tire under the bed and there's not one, but two outlets back there. And if that wasn't enough, there's an air compressor built in as well. The truck bed cover or tonneau is also automatic, but I was told it wasn't working flawlessly, so they didn't let me try it. And Quinn said the same thing in his video. You've got a couple buttons. One is for your tonneau, which I've been told, don't push this button yet. Moving to the side of the R1T, we have the gear tunnel, a feature unique to the R1T. It runs the whole width of the truck and has these doors on both sides. Push a button and the door unlocks and you can step on it and they support up to 300 pounds. The gear tunnel is big enough for an adult sized human to crawl through it. And it's meant to store whatever, groceries, luggage, snowboards, you name it. There are two outlets in the gear tunnel and get this, there's a secret door in the back seat behind the cushion for you to reach into the gear tunnel if you need something. When the R1T is unlocked, the door handles flare out to A, give you a place to grab them, and B, give you a visual indicator that the car is unlocked. The roof racks on the R1T are really cool. They require no tools to remove and attach. You open the latch and just lift them. And they extend so you can put them on the bed. And yes, they're lockable to prevent people from just walking up to your truck and taking them. There are cameras and sensor all around the truck as well. 11 cameras, five radars, and 12 ultrasonic sensors to be exact. I mentioned that the front trunk has a powered hood. It's also got a great amount of cargo space. And there is a physical button that you can push to open and close it. I think my favorite exterior feature of the Rivian R1T is without a doubt the swiveling charging port door. The action on this thing is so satisfying to watch. I must have opened and closed it like 10 times just to relive the satisfaction over and over. It's just, it's just, it's so smooth. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh my. It's basically like you're opening a Lamborghini door, you know? And if you're curious, the R1T actually has two charging ports. The top is the standard J plug and the bottom is used for Rivian's upcoming DC charging network. Speaking of charging, the Rivian R1T has an estimated range of 314 miles, which honestly isn't amazing, but there's a max battery pack, which Rivian says will get you over 400 miles. Definitely something to consider if you're buying one of these. Before we go inside the R1T, I want to quickly mention the adventure capabilities of this truck, specifically the tent add-on. They had it on one of the trucks in the parking lot, and I've personally never been camping, but just know if you're buying this truck to take on road trips, and maybe you're going camping with this thing, the tent is an absolute must. I also saw the kitchen add-on, which stows inside the gear tunnel and fits like a glove. It's got a cooktop, four gallon tank for sink water, and a cutlery set. It's a $5,000 add-on for rich people, but hey, it exists and it's awesome. All right, moving inside the R1T, We've got to talk about this interior. It's nice. I wouldn't call it luxury. I'd say it's premium. It's definitely nicer than what you get in a Tesla. It feels like they care more. It's welcoming. The wood finish, vegan leather seats. 
Like, if you're spending 70 bands on a truck, you'd expect this, and it delivers. There's a big cargo bay in the center console. It's deep, and there's an inductive charger for your phone, but no indicator as to exactly where it is. And fun fact, there's no glove compartment in this pickup truck. The back seats are spacious, and you've got decent storage wells in the doors that stretch. There's a display in the back that has USB-C ports, but oddly, it only does climate control, which I thought was weird. The touchscreen display up front has a solid UI, but here's something I've never said before. Car screens should be 120 hertz. The response time on the display felt a bit sluggish, and I think electric vehicles that rely on touchscreens for so much of the functionality should have a high refresh rate for a smoother experience. Like I said, my time with the truck was limited, so I didn't dig deep into the operating system, but what I can say is that it feels like a Tesla. Some things are laid out really well, and some things are pretty hidden. I'm a big fan of digital dashboards. I'm glad to see it in the R1T. I think it's great to have information that's glanceable right behind the steering wheel. The steering wheel has two dials that are both flanked by buttons to control things on the screen. One thing that's worth calling out is the sound the blinker makes. It's kind of pleasant, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've actually ever driven a pickup truck before. But here's what I said when I was behind the wheel for the very first time. So my first impressions, I've been in the car for around 45 seconds. Really nice interior, big touchscreen display in the center, and then you've got a digital dashboard as well. There's like nice wood finishing. It feels premium in here. Now we're pretty high off the ground because it is a pickup truck, but there's something really uncanny about being in a truck that is completely silent that absolutely just rips. And speaking of ripping, this pickup truck is like a sports car. It does zero to 60 in three seconds. It's quick. Launching again in three, two. Wow. My trip ended back in Manhattan because the nice people at Rivian let me take it over the Williamsburg Bridge, which gives you insane views of Manhattan if you've never been on it before and the person next to us really liked the truck. Before this video ends, there's a few more cool things I wanna call out about the truck. The back windows roll down all the way. That's nice. There are handles for every door to help get in and out of the truck. That's nice. There's a flashlight that stows away and charges inside the driver door. Sick. And there's a portable Bluetooth speaker that docks into the center console and charges in there. That's cool. I think the Rivian R1T is one hell of an electric pickup truck. I just wish I had more time with one. Maybe I'll review it someday. For now, I've linked to other Rivian videos below to check out if you're interested in learning more about this electric truck. Big thanks to Rivian for inviting me out to Brooklyn for the day, and let me know when you've got the R1S ready for me to take home for the weekend. I'll be waiting. And as always, thank you for watching. It's so... Sick. This will make him so happy. I could do this all day.